Welcome back, travelers. It's Slider Havoc here, and we are back playing some Infinity Evolved. And we have done a little bit of stuff. As you can see, I have no roof because I got something big built up above. So I was doing a little bit of reading about um, like the flux and all the issues I was having with the infusions. Hey, I remember the word that time. And when ooh, this is something I made, I'll explain it in just a second. But I was reading about like, you know, how to, you know, help with stability and stuff like that. And apparently open air blocks add stability as well as these little candles. And then you can use mob skulls and crystal clusters and all these different things you can use. And so I'm going to be adding more to it to add as much stability as possible. But I did read that you can put these pedestals up to eight blocks out from the center. And then you can actually put the Essentia up to 12 blocks out, which just gives as much space as possible. So I want to do a kind of big build. Now, eventually, I will fill all these empty places in with some borderless glass from uh, Tinker's Construct because, well, let's be honest, it's just safer. Now, this right here, this was uh, nature because I had a pillar that went up with ladders and stuff like that. And doing this build and going up and down was really, really annoying. And I found that this arcane levitator was really, really cheap to make. It's around here somewhere, right there. It was just some niter, which was a quick uh, thing in the cauldron, a couple of shards, a couple of iron, and some crate wood planks. And each one gets you 10 blocks up. So I've actually got two down below this one. They're stacked on top of each other, which means I can go up to 30 blocks. And then basically I just float up and shift to get down. It's pretty freaking nifty. I love it. It's pretty cool. It's kind of creative flight. I guess if you created a whole bunch of these, you could create like a creative flight room. I don't know. I don't know why you would do that when you could just work towards getting flight, but whatever. It works. It gets me up there and I don't have to take the, uh, the ladder anymore. So that's a nice little change. So anyways, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting off with a little bit of Thomcraft and then we're going to be moving to other stuff. I want to make these boots of the traveler because well, they're, they're pretty awesome from basically what I get. You speed up, you jump higher, you all this crazy stuff. And I want to make them, and I've got all the materials pretty much to do it. Air shards are easy. Um, the enchanted fabric, I still have to make. Feathers I can do, and I don't think I have any fish, but I can go fishing really quick and get one. But this enchanted fabric is really, really uh, cheap and easy to make. It's wool and string. Oh, and by the way, in case you didn't notice, I now have a Thomic uh, Arcane Terminal. And it is really, really useful. I don't have to go back and forth between that bench. One, two. Okay, we got those now. And I can just do everything from here. I leave my wand in there and it's all nicey nice. And my wand is getting pretty low. I'm going to have to fill those wands pretty quickly uh, or pretty soon. But I'm going to need two air shards. And then it was a fish. And what else was it? Uh, a fish and a feather that I can do um, a feather and have I randomly gotten any fish no okay but I can make a fishing pole real quick like and we can go get ourselves a fish real quick and while we can do that I can kind of explain a little bit more what's going on so today what I want to get done is I want to start some mana production uh, for Batania so I was off in my creative world doing some testing about ways to kind of automate a system to get as much mana as possible. Now I've used Batania before and I have, uh, you know, produced it in certain ways, but I wanted to do something different and I wanted to use different mods and I kind of came up with a fun little way to do it. Hey, you didn't catch him. I, I kind of came up with a fun way to do it using one thing from uh, Thomcraft as well as having to use a little bit of witchery. And in the meantime, I did make one thing. I made the spinning wheel for witchery because we're going to need that to make a piece of cobweb, which is just made with strings. Yeah, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Gotcha. What that the brick? I don't want a raw eel. I want a fish. I have a feeling the raw eel is not going to work. But anyways, so yeah, so I, I put a couple things together and I, I want to keep trying new mods out, new things and mods. And so I'm constantly researching. So I'm just not using the same things all the time. Like I'm not always just using thermal expansion or, uh, you know, Tinker's Constructor, you know, stuff like that. I want to try new and different things. We've all used those, or, you know, the basics in every mod pack, but I want to try something different. So that's what we're going to go for. And uh, the, uh, the setup actually works really, really well. Okay, here we go. 
All right, pufferfish. Pufferfish works. All right, cool. That was a pufferfish, right? Yeah. All right, and then I already did the Essentia ahead of time just because well, why not, right? Why not get a little bit proactive on it? So I've got those actually ready to go. So I can throw you away and you. Okay, so fish, those two, those two, we're good to go. The Essentia we need is, oh, you know what? I need to make the boots. If I remember correctly, it's just leather boots. Uh, yeah, a pair of leather boots. And I think I should have some leather left. I got four, cool. Oh, that reminds me. So, uh, basically, I was gonna show you one more thing. I was just over in the area. Actually, you know what? I got to take something over there with me. I just refilled it and, okay, so this right here is Victus, I think it was called. Uh, Jar of Victus, yeah. And this powers something that um, I made with an arcane lamp, which are really cool, by the way. They're really, really cool looking. The the way they mount and stuff like that, they're really cool looking lamps. But then I did an infusion on it and got this guy right here, which is a lamp of fertility, I think it's called. And then basically, if I put this bad boy right there, it starts supplying this lamp with this Victus. And it works kind of like animal fertilizer. And you can see, they just had a baby. And let's see if any of these else get lovey-dovey before I go. I saw the hearts really quick. Um, let me grab these eggs while I'm over here. Because I use the eggs to make the Victus, so that kind of works. Now the cool thing about this is it auto- oh, there we go! They just had a baby too. Awesome, awesome. And did the sheep just have a baby too? And nope, that was a head. Oh, there they go! Did they- <gasps> and they just had a baby! Really, really cool. It won't let you get more than eight animals at a time, so it doesn't get out of hand, and it really doesn't take too much of the Victus, I don't think. I mean, it didn't seem like it really took, oh, now the chickens are going at it, and now we got baby chick. And so this will just keep going as long as I have Victus, which I'm already low, so I'll get like maybe uh, two more animals out of that. Yeah, four will give me two, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they'll just keep giving me animals, and that's freaking awesome. Like, my farm will just be self-sustaining and just constantly be putting out animals. So if I ever need, you know, materials like feathers or eggs or uh, leather or wool and stuff like that, there'll always be eight animals over there to go kill. Oh, wait, I forgot to grab what I needed. This one needs this Ignis Ig Eider and the feather one, whatever that was called. Volatus. And what we're gonna do is head up here. I need to figure out a way to kind of aim in there a little bit better, but we can put our jars of Essentia right back here. And then I wanna keep this as even as possible. So you go there and we'll put the other one right over here. And you two, I'll put you guys opposite of each other. So the puffer fish will go there and I'll put one of the shards over here. And I'll put the feather right there. So you're opposite the pufferfish, yes. I'm trying to keep every, it says keep everything as balanced as possible. So that's what I'm going for. The shards are opposite each other. Those uh, claws are opposite of each other. And then basically, there we go. And oh, tell me I got a wand in my bag. I don't have to go back down there. Tell me I have at least one wand. I do have my iron capped wand. Okay, cool. And we start it. And let's just watch from a distance, making sure none of the items fall off and stuff. All right, so it's taken in the Volatus. And it was actually quite a bit for that. I mean, quite a bit compared to the other stuff I've done so far. I just want to make sure nothing's fallen off and no lightning. Okay, there goes the Victus. Or not Victus, the Eider. And I don't see anything falling off pedestals yet, which is good. Because this is kind of huge and, ah, oh, there we go. And to have to run around and put stuff back on could be quite detrimental. That's why I was hoping the big build would add a little bit of stability and I wouldn't have to worry about things falling off all the time. And then it's up in the air, so, you know. I don't know, what do you guys think about this? I kind of mimicked the altar itself, doing the stone like that and then trying to do the thing up above. I don't know, you tell me what you think. But Boots of the Traveler, these things are supposed to be really cool. Let's see if they're really cool. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So I'm faster and I can jump higher. Oh, I, I don't wanna sprint up here, so we're gonna have to head down to sprint, but hey, get down. Oh wait, I need my jars back. Get my jars back. 
There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I could get used to these. These are kind of nifty. Woo! All right, and we're back. Oh, we've got our Boots of the Traveler. And I believe they are actually used in another recipe to make another, like Boots of the Comet or something like that. Uh, boots of the Comet, yeah. And these guys, it's another thing from uh, Thomcraft is an add-on on Forbidden Magic or one of those adds it on. And so that'd be really cool. But look how fast I am. Now I can, when I have to go find nodes, I can get to them quickly. Really, really quickly. Anyways, now for the Batania stuff. So the first thing we need to do is I need a cobweb. Uh, one, two. Because it takes eight string in the... Uh, nope, over here. I believe it gives you feather falling too. Oh, it does. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, wait, it's out here. Don't do that to me. Anyway, so we put eight string in here in the spinning wheel, which is powered by the altar, I believe. Yeah, so it's using a little bit of altar power to do it. And we will get cobby webs. And that is freaking awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Bingo, bingo. Okay, so we got the cobweb, which we already had two, apparently. But uh, can I make that jump back? That would be awesome if I could make that jump back. Okay, that was, that was a little too high hoping, but I had to go for it. So anyway, so we got the cobweb. There's one, oh, oh, it runs up blocks. It runs up, oh, this is awesome. Oh, I'm so loving these already. I'm so, I didn't really, this wasn't part of the plan. I had something else planned, but then I kind of changed my mind at the last minute. But anyways, I need this guy right here. And we are gonna go over to Batania land. And thank you. And, oh, I need some item ducks. Do I have any? I have one. Well, I'm going to need a servo for sure. And let's go ahead and make a couple more of these. I don't need a lot. So that'll work right there. And I need to make um, an open crate, I believe it was called. This guy right here. There we go. We got the open crate. And bing, bing, bing. Oh, and then the flowers. And that's it. It's really, really simple. It's really simple. And I love it. Oh, you know what? But I'm going to need to grab some coal. I'm going to need some coal. Coal. So let's just grab like four stacks. That should be enough for a while. All right. And off to Batania land, which is at the end of this bridge. I'm always trying to remember where everything's at because I've kind of spread everything out so far. Um, let me grab my sleeping bag before I get down to where mobbies might be. Let us sleep real quick. And then that way. Bink. Okay. We don't have to worry about mobs down here because I keep getting creepered. Okay, so we've got the spreader right here. Where, where, oh, where do I want to? I want to do it right here. Okay, so this is a kind of a fun little build, right? So we've got this hungry chest, which I think I showed you in the last episode. You throw items at it and it just eats them all up, right? So you can kind of see where this is going. This is going to automatically collect stuff for me, right? And then I basically, hey, Okay, this is going to get complicated to use too. Um, there we go. And then I put this open crate right here, which automatically drops items, right? Makes sense. And then I place a cobweb right here. And so it pauses them long enough that the flowers that we're going to make, which are the, uh, let me go ahead and grab my, we'll put this stuff away real quick. I don't need you anymore, at least not for right now. And, uh, Batania, there we go. Hey, what's going on? Okay, that was weird lag. All right, so it's called the Generating Flora, the Endo Flame. And this one will like grab anything that burns and turn it into mana. And it's really, really simple to make. Basically, I need a mana powder, I need uh, two brown petals, a red petal, and a light gray petal. And if I remember correctly, my flower bags right here and I've got, so this I need for the mana powder. And then I need one red. I'll need two brown, but that gives me one. And then a light gray. And hey, pick that up. Cool, and it went right. Hey, aren't you supposed to go in the back? Oh no, you're in my hand, okay. Let me do that. 
There we go. And then we'll get two of each of these. Like so. Oh, and I, pff, I totally forgot. I have to make the altar. Um, I, yeah, I put a crafting table out here. Um, do I have living stone on my ideal? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I forget what's what's the recipe for the altar. I actually forgot that. Um, altar, 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 runic altar. Uh, oh, I'm gonna need a diamond. I'm gonna need to go grab a diamond. That's what I forgot. I forgot to make the altar because I haven't made any yet. So, but we're probably gonna make a couple of these. And actually, I'm glad I actually forgot because it reminded me of one other thing I need to make, which is I need some shears because I'm going to need some grass. And there we go. All right, cool, cool, cool. We're doing our things. We are doing our things here. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my God, these boots are freaking awesome. And I mean, you're fa you're like running at normal speed and then sprint is just really fast. That's really cool. So let me go ahead and put the coal in here and start that cycle and make sure that's working properly. And oops, go ahead. And we'll put you on here like that and put you to ignore. And you should start pumping coal out. There it goes. And then I'll go in the dropper. The dropper will then drop in the web. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be awesome. All right, so my diamond, I think, oh, where's all my mana? Where's all my mana? I had mana. I'm gonna need mana for this. I know I made a couple iron ingots, but, oh, you know what? I have mana right here. Not a lot, but I have some. So let's switch and throw you in there. There we go. Is that going to be enough to make this diamond? Aha, it is. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we got a banner diamond. Whew, I was going to be very upset. I was going to be highly upset there. All right, so we've got our altar. Bingo. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Then we need, our, we've got our two brown, our one. Okay, so let me move some of this stuff out of the way. One red, one light, one, two brown. And what was the other thing I needed? Oh, and then the mana powder. Oh, please tell me I have enough. Please tell me I have enough because I'm also going to need mana to run the... The... Uh... Hey, I don't want to pick up the coal. Yeah, you just go in there and do your thing. Okay, cool. So, mana powder. One red, one light gray, two brown. And then... Why aren't you starting? What am I missing here? What am I missing? Oh, oh, it's even easier than that. Oh my goodness. I did not realize it was that easy. It's in the pe uh, pedestal. Oh, that's so easy. Okay. You, you. Hey, where's the other brown one? Did you go in here? Where's the brown friggin' feather? flower petal thing where did it go okay I'm not going crazy it's not in my inventory right did no I couldn't have gone in here because this only takes flowers I don't know what just happened but whatever okay <laughs> I don't know what just happened there all right so you go in there and then one of you and one of you and now I'm going to need seeds. Do I have any seeds on me? I'm sure I can go knock some around. Ah, jeez. Come on, give me some seeds. Ah, seeds. Okay. <laughs> That's one way to do it. All right, cool. So we've got this guy here. But this isn't going to work quite like I want it because I don't think it'll grab the coal from there. Oh, it did. Oh, it so did. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a whole bunch and see how this works. We are going to make one, two, three, four, five, six more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. Seven more. And this is going to start producing mana like crazy. And then we'll be doing awesome, awesome things. Okay, you are connected to what? You're connected to here. There you go. 
There you go. Now you're getting mana. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. This is awesome. But the other thing I was, the reason I needed the shears was because I want to make these things right here. Um, I was like, I got to find grass. So I'm going to need like eight of these. Okay. Wow. I'm just jumping all over the place. And the what I'm trying to make is, be, oh, I didn't want to do that these floating flowers they're made with regular flowers oh it's in a mana pool that's that's where it is i'm going to remember all this stuff okay so grass there we go i can make six right now no problem you're producing mana so it's cool it will we'll get more eventually and then i need six flowers out of my bag here i've got a whole bunch here so one two three four five six right and dirt i need dirt so let's just go get some dirt one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now, let me grab a whole bunch more flowers. So, uh, it's like two to one. So, one, two, three of the red, one, two, three of the light gray, and one, two, three, four, five, six of the brown. Okay, cool. And then, let's get all the petals here. And there we go. And I need a more of the powder. Oh, that's in here. So we, let's do six to start. So there's five, there's six. And hopefully this is producing enough. All right, that I got six. Cool, 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 cool. And now, actually I don't even need this bucket anymore because now I can put in my hand my blood magic sigil of water and then this is all actually coming along i love it i love it i love it okay so you go there and you go there all right cool so phil oh it doesn't work well gee golly i thought i thought we were going somewhere with this um let me go ahead and put that away. I really thought that was going to work. It's, it's worked with everything else so far. But, you know, it's okay. Not a big deal. So, bingo, bango. And then, oh, I guess, one, two, three, four. Ah! Um, shift right click. It's going to be an empty hand. There we go. You and you. Oh, and then seeds. <laughs> I'm so excited to get this done. I forget about like the simple things sometimes. But I did notice that the Batania pretty much takes any seed I find. So I don't have to just have vanilla seeds. I was trying it out and other seeds were working. So we'll see. See, I got a couple. I got some wolf seed. I mean, okay. So let's move you out of the way. Move you here. And let's make sure that this works. All right and seed go okay cool and then you you right click with an empty hand so we'll just do this there we go hey no 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 um and then we'll spin seeds yes those work too ha 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 there we go and there we go. Oh, we're doing good things. Now, what I want to craft up are these things right here, which is flowers, pasture seeds, and dirt. That's the recipe. I know I looked this up. Um, yes, these floating flowers. All right, it's made with a regular. Does it have to be glimmering? Oh, I need to go get some glowstone. I didn't know that had to be glimmering. I thought you could just do it with regulars. Okay. Not a problem. I've got plenty of glowstone and now I can move around quickly. Not to mention I can use my air sigil to get around too. So, all right. So glowstone, let's just grab this right here real quick. Where? Oh, they're in the crafting table. Darn it. Okay. We'll just take this with me. And head back. Woo! Oh, that is so cool. 
I am so going to be in love with these boots. So, so, so in love with these boots. It would be awesome if, like, be, I, I didn't show you guys, but I uh, put my goggles revealing with my helmet and it all of a sudden they go together. This would be, like, awesome. <laughs> but that's not going to happen. I was I, I wanted to hope right there. I wanted to be really, really optimistic. But, uh, okay, so let me take you out, do this, and go like that. All right, so now I've got six of those. And then this should turn into that, okay. And then this goes with the endo flame, and it makes floating endo flames. And then I can just put them like this. So then I'll have two tiers of flowers. Is that not freaking awesome? Is that not like the coolest thing ever? Because then I'll have basically a whole bunch of these creating a whole bunch of mana. And that's freaking awesome. That is absolutely awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to make the rest of these flowers really quick. And then when I'm done making the flowers, um, you know what? We can do this together. Uh, this is pretty much it for the episode. So <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, we're about 30 minutes, almost 30 minutes in. And this was actually really, really productive. This is such a simple setup. And all I have to do is then automate a way to get charcoal or wood even, just wood would work. Hey, get in the door. Um, and so that'd be really, really cool. Let me grab some seeds. I don't have actually a lot of seeds, which is really funny. You would think I have a whole bunch built up by now. But anyways, we got the seeds. I know we've got more than enough flowers. And if not, I can always make some more floral fertilizer, which is really, really simple. <clears throat> but we should have enough to get this done. Okay. So, wait, first of all, get this coal out of my hand, please. There we go. And that should just go for a while, actually. Okay, you're not, oh, you are connected. You're connected, you're connected, you're connected. Hey, stop picking up coal. You're connected. Okay, that's all I wanted to make sure. Wanted to make sure all the flowers are properly connected. Okay. So, how did you get a water block there? Did I place a water block there at some point? Maybe I did that with my, uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, my blood magic sigil. Maybe that's why I didn't go in there. I don't know. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I'm so excited. So then I can put you here and here in here and all of you guys just keep taking the coal oh this is this is too cool I'm gonna get so much mana here you can't die in my endo flames that'd be awesome if that got me mana too but let's see yeah and that's already a decent amount of mana because those mana pools hold a lot and then it's just oh it's cycling oh this is so cool this is exactly what I wanted nothing ever works out the way I want so <laughs> This is actually kind of exciting for me. So let's go ahead and just grab the rest of these powders real quick. And then I can just kind of throw them all in there. Um, that should be enough for right now. And let me grab some more. Well, let's just grab all of the, there's two more. So one, and one for right now and thank you thank you and thank you and let's go ahead and get some more water and then it's just one 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 two and some seeds oh this is so cool I so nothing ever quite works out right for me so it's kind of exciting when they do. Um, floating magenta flower. Oh, no, no, no. I'm making these guys. All right. Cool, cool, cool. And so then you go right there. And right there. And just a couple more, but I don't have the flowers for them at the moment. So that's okay. I'm going to finish making this because then um, after I'm done recording, I'm going to figure out a way. Let me move this. I don't like this sitting right here now that I know that I don't need it. There we go. 
Um, I would figure out a way to auto populate this chest with wood. I might just bring a farm over here. I don't know. I don't know how exactly I want to do it. If I had ender pearls, which I don't have any because I haven't seen many endermen, um, I would try to make a tesseract, but it's way too soon for tesseracts. So we got to figure out another way to automate and get uh, charcoal or wood going into this thing on a regular basis. And I could just go get a whole bunch of wood uh, from the house. But for right now, I think the coal is doing a good thing. It seems to be producing a lot of mana, which is really, really cool. And yeah, so I, I think this was pretty successful. So we are going to get our mana built up. And I think that is the start for some crazy Batania right there. Just, just having a, a large mana production setup going and those flowers aren't going to disappear. And Thomcraft is doing awesome things. And I'm thinking maybe next time we can really take a good look at Blood Magic. Because I have not really messed with Blood Magic at all. You're still absorbing over here? Interesting. I guess it hasn't, the chunk hasn't been loaded. But anyways, guys. Until next time. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the series. And I hope you do want to see more of it. I'm really, really enjoying it. I haven't like I haven't done the mod in Minecraft thing in quite a while. And I, pff, I love it. I really, really do. I have a lot of fun with it and it just it's it's so much fun trying to you know integrate all these different mods and find a way to you know make them all you know kind of work together and be successful and stuff like that and so you know what i'm having so much fun i gotta do it i, I i'm having so much fun i gotta do it i've been thinking about doing pulling out my node in a jar but i need the stabilizer and i think i've already done the research for it i believe i already did the research for it let me let me get Batania stuff out of my inventory real quick. And let's we'll just put all this in there for right now. I don't really care. Shears, everything. Glowstone, yeah, feathers, yeah. Feather bag, the book, the living rock, the altar. All of you go. Uh, the wand, yeah, everything goes. And then I'll go ahead and put you in. Oh, this is really cool too. If you, there's a thing to swap armor. Psh, psh. So I can basically, when I'm doing Thomcraft stuff, I can come over here, swap into Thomcraft armor. So we might make that uh, in the in the meantime. But and then you can like you know get your viz discount, and then you come back and just swap back. And I think that's pretty freaking sweet and nifty. But anyways, what I was just trying to say was I want to get the node in a jar out, and we we're at like 32 minutes. I'm okay. I'm okay with going a little bit longer if we're having fun. And stabilizer, thermometer, yes. Okay, so node stabilizer. It's uh, Niter, which we have, Arcane Box, which we have, Block of Quartz, I can do, Piston, and Gold. We can do that very, very easily. Um, I need Gold. I need the Arcane Blocks. Um, I think it's just like this, right? Yes. Okay, cool. And then I needed the Niter. Wait, I thought I, I, I thought I had an extra one. That's okay. We can do that. Coal one two three and uh was it torches i need six of those and then i'm going to need that glowstone back <laughs> and that's going to give me two niter and actually it'll do a good thing because i need to take the fire that's out from under here anyways so let me grab my blood magic again because i do know that this water one fills here like a so there we go, and then you'll start bubbling up. And while you're doing that, I can put you away. Right, okay, you're bubbling up. And then, move this. I was having issues earlier not getting the right recipe. So there's two, there's four, there's six, and then there's six of these. There we go, and this should give me two niter. Perfect, and then I don't have any extra flux. That's perfect. Now the other, reason for this niter is going to be right here so i don't have to have a open flame i can just put niter under it and it does its own thing perfect perfect and it's bubbling out oh, it's doing its thing cool 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 now now as for you you were like that and that niter there was gold what else was in this uh Stabilizer. Uh, two blocks of quartz and a piston. I can do that. Piston. 
like so. And then quartz, uh, yeah, block of quartz. Come on, I know I have quartz, come on. There we go, that's what I'm trying to do. Two blocks of quartz, got you. And you're like that, like that, and a piston. And I don't have enough Aquaviz. I'm short by eight. Uh, what about my other wand? Aha, I do have enough in that one. Hee 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 hee. All right, cool. There we go. We got the stabilizer. Now the stabilizer, I'm going to put it right here for right now. And then in our Thomcraft bag, we're going to go ahead and put the node from the node in the jar right there and give it a little tappy tap. And that starts stabilizing. And then... There's one more thing I want to do. Do I have enough of the materials? Or do I have the research? Um, harnessing Viz. This guy right here. Oh, no. The advanced or the, the one recharge. No. Where's the one I want? It might open up from this. I need some more Aurum. Or not Aurum, but uh, Aura. Supercantio and Air. That should be enough. Advanced node stabilizer. Where is the... Oh, harnessing viz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, is what I, this was the one I wanted anyways. So I'm going to need another node stabilizer and some more niter. Okay, so I'm going to put this all together because I don't want it to get too long. So I'm going to assemble all this stuff really quick. And then we're going to come back because I want to have an automatic viz charging station. And you'll see how that works in just a second. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all the stuff assembled and now we're gonna go ahead. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough viz. I just thought about that because I just used some more. Um, I made everything I needed though. And what was it? Iron and what? Two iron and then the other node stabilizer, which I just made. But I don't know if I'm gonna have enough viz. I might have to go get some more viz before we do this. Oh no, it's got enough. Bingo, bango. Oh, I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited. So on top of this, like that. And then all I need is a lever. Like that. Because apparently, oh, you know what? I'm not going to do with a lever. I think it would be cooler with a red uh, redstone block. Just, I don't know why I think it would be cooler, but I think it would be cooler. Just to power it with a redstone block. Because I don't see myself ever unpowering this, so. Although I do see it moving every now and then. So basically this is going to turn them all to zero and then it's going to kind of get them like a balanced number and then they'll be able to go to this other thing, which I'm sure is in the book and we can make that while that's working. I think it's like a wire. Ah, here it is right here. Viz charge relay. How do I make that? Um, I wish there was like a search. Uh, oh, it's probably under charging. So let me do the research real quick. I don't have any paper on me. Um, let me grab some scribing tools and paper. I don't have any scribing tools, but I have paper. All right. And I can take these right here, which seem to be out. So let us refill this real quick. I have some coal dust, which works, I believe. Yes. Okay, cool. And then let's do that. And we'll do one of these together because I haven't actually done one of these with you guys yet. So, Aurum is air and Percantio. Okay. And Percantio is void and um, Potentia. And then the wheel thing is also Ordo and... Oh, see, these are all different. So, there's Potentia. So, let us... Oh, I've run out of ink because... There you go. Okay. So, we can put you there. And we'll use you there. And you can go, well, that's not going to work. Let's go void here. Void is going to go, oh, uh, no, it's over here. See, this is, I actually try not to cheat these ones. I actually try to figure them out on my own. And that is also that one, right? Yes. But this also has Ordo. So that connects those two. And then this one has air, air, and then I can do another void like that. And 
air. I don't know. Let's do another. No, I don't want to do void. Oh yeah, void there. That's kind of the cheap and easy way to do it. Um, wait, what does this one have? Oh, so let's just do this. There we go. Cool. So we've got the research for that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Get that. And now I should... Okay, that's just the charging. Where is this freaking... Ah, there it is. Got it. Okay, cool. Now we can make it. Now we can make it. And then there's two great wood rods, one viz relay, and two iron ingots. And the, the viz thing is this one right here. It's just eight of each with a balanced shard. We can do balanced shards. We can do this. I'm, I'm so, I don't know how you guys feel about me. Oh, okay. Fortunately, that was just coal and torches. So, um, like going a little bit longer. I know I've been told in the past that you guys wouldn't mind longer episodes. So I'm kind of okay with going longer, but, um, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, and that'll give me my balance shard. And how much I have Percantio in that, um, I could make an ingot, but I'm not going to. We kept doing that the other day. And I got my thumb and Omicron again. Uh, we're doing the Viz relay thing. So just four iron. That's easy. Easy, easy, easy. Add on. How? Oh, it's in my inventory. Okay. So one, two, three. Get rid of that nighter. Four and the balance shard. And now we have the viz relay. And then it's two great wood rods and iron ingots. So great wood. Oops. One, two, three, four. I think it's just like this. I believe. Oh, did I do that? I always put it in the workbench instead of in my inventory. One, two, perfect, we've got that. And I don't know if I'm gonna have enough of Viz to do this, so. Uh, you and you, you there, and it was iron, right? Wand, oh, I can! Oh, 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 oh. Put you like that, it's getting power. And then if I put my wand in, my wand starts charging. Oh, that's awesome. Now, I don't have Ignis. And I don't have Ordo, but I can get some. And that's that's not too, you know, that's just getting another node, basically, or making a better node or something like that. But at least I'm going to start charging up the ones that I have difficulty charging, which is really, really cool. And then I can also charge this one up, too. So I think this is definitely a good place to stop. We've, whew, we got a lot done today, and I'm really, really excited that we now have this to be able to charge up our... Uh, wands a little bit and I don't have to worry about going around and finding nodes so much and then what I'll probably do in the meantime is go find some more nodes and maybe set up a couple more of these just so I have kind of unlimited viz we'll we'll see how that goes but guys I hope you guys are enjoying I hope this is uh, something that you guys want to see more of and uh, you know likes and comments are always greatly appreciated likes kind of help my videos get viewed and in case you guys didn't know that that's basically how the chance for uh, they increase the chance for videos to be seen. But then also, you know, I just like knowing that you like what I'm doing and you, you, you enjoy what I've been doing. So, Hey, you've been over here repopulating. Good job. So until next time, guys, y'all know the deal. I am Slider Havoc and I am out of here. Peace.